I'm just out in the yard waiting for Gerald to come and pick me up and I noticed that all of the maple trees in my yard are budding. It's March 1st and the trees think it's like April. <laughs> Putting out all the sop buckets today. Brian is appropriately dressed. Oh, so, Gerald and I are just out at a local riverway here. We stopped uh, to check there's a fox den just up the road, which gets used every year, and the fox is not there yet. I mean, this is crazy. We're, we're losing all our snow. It is the beginning of March, so normally we'd still have two feet of snow. So we decided to come down here and look at the ducks. There are quite a few ducks across the way up there. Buffalo heads, uh, golden eyes, mergansers, all kinds of stuff. And then the otter was out here on the ice. We still have some ice out there. So Gerald and I are going to stick around and see if we can get the otter. Any luck? Did he come back? No signs of him back. Coming back yet. He was out there on the ice earlier. Gerald needs new binoculars. These ones don't work. I haven't seen an otter yet. Just waited an hour and a half and the otter just popped back up and I didn't even get a picture before he disappeared. <laughs> Some days, that's it. You're just waiting, waiting, and waiting. There's a mink. We just witnessed something here that I have never seen. And uh, Lucas is an environmental guy here. He's never seen this before either. A mink, which we were taking photographs of and we watched it swim across, went and attacked a duck on the shore and tried right across the whole waterway system to drown him. He was trying to get him and then eventually the duck got away and, and the mink was still chasing him up the main river there. I, I never realized that a mink would take on a duck being that big, but we have proof. It just happened. Look at that. The mink is attacking a duck. No I've never yeah. seen that. I've never seen that either. That's not... That's not normal? No. He's hungry. I've seen otters attack ducks that are molting that can't fly, but I've never seen a friggin' mink do it. That's friggin' amazing. It was the first for everything. The That's insane. You know, oh my that, god, I've never seen anything like that. That duck must have been sleeping in the weeds over there and That's the mink just... Yes, Gerald and I we felt, we saw that going in there. So when I just heard the door, I said, okay, is that that duck? That duck? Wow. If he'll end up getting him or... Is he going to get away? I don't know. I think if the duck gets to sh is able to get to shore, the, the mink is going to get him. No, that duck's tired. He's getting tired. He's going I'm under. Gonna see, uh, He's going to drown him, eh? I'm gonna go see if I can get him. Oh, he got away. Gonna get away. Did he get away? Uh, no, the mink still got him. Yeah, mink's got him good. Oh, he got away. He got away. He looks like he's injured. Did he get away? Yeah. He did get away. Yes. The mink's chasing him in the water. He's the mink's not gonna get him now. Oh yeah, the other one. Oh, you gonna go back for him? He's truck, he's chasing him. sucks. I'm getting ready to go do my photo shoot tonight 
and I just dropped my Samyang 24 mil. It literally fell a foot and a half onto the floor. And now one of the elements is flopping around inside there. That little round element right there we can see inside is loose. That's my fault. I had the camera bag sitting with the zipper unzipped and I picked up the bag and everything fell out of the bag. But that being said, I didn't think that a fall of a foot and a half would, you know, sit, shake something loose in a lens like that. So now I'm going to try to take that apart when I get home in five hours and see if I can fix it. I've never taken a lens apart. Um, I have no clue what I'm doing, guys, but I'm going to have to take a look at it. That was an expensive lens, 600 and some dollars plus tax. <sighs> Not feeling too good about that right now. Not at all. Not the first camera or lens that I've had to take apart and fix, but they don't get any easier. And there's no guarantee. There's so many tiny little screws and electronics in this. Okay, so I've removed two elements. I'm down inside. That's the element that was loose. And honestly, I can't see what holds it in there. I think it might have just been glued in place. And it's come loose. Oh, well. As far as I can tell, there's nothing that holds that in place. And to me, it looks like there's a little tiny, like, tenth of a millimeter of what could be glue around the outside. So I'm going to put a couple of drops of crazy glue in there. I'm going to try to clean that lens. It looks a little bit dusty. That's just for me touching it with that cloth. And then, man, I've got uh, 15 screws and a whole whack load of these things to plug back in and not an undertaking for the faint of heart but if i can fix this guys i will try if not i'll turf it in the garbage and i'll never buy another samyang lens again this thing literally fell 16 inches and hit the ground and knocked that element loose I'm not happy about that bro did you ever know that you've worked too long of a day so I couldn't get the dust off that interior lens. It's like electrostatically charged. And I went to whack this on the edge of the table like that to get the, all of the dust off of this. And I ended up taking a huge hunk out of my finger because I missed and whacked my knuckle into the edge of the table. And then I'm like, damn it, I've been working too long. Oh, I just, I, it's been a 12 hour day already and I'm just, I'm so... I, if I don't put this back together now, I'll never remember where all these screws go. And and then, to top it off, I went looking for band-aids. And that is all I could find for band-aids. Do you guys remember Calvin and Hobbes, the cartoon? I feel like a 47-year-old Calvin right now. I just, I need to keep the blood and the dirt and everything out of this lens. And I'm just, I'm like so over dramatic. I'm so tired. I'm so done with this. My imagination is just running wild and you know what I'm going to do guys because I am going to take the crazy glue and I am going to carefully put a couple of drops and let it seep around that lens and hope it doesn't get down inside very gently just enough to hold that lens in place not enough to drip down onto the element below hopefully and then if I can get this reassembled I'm just sitting here thinking this is ridiculous. This is the stupidest idea you've ever had. You know what's going to happen. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, you can see where I've added glue. And I think we've got it. Well, it's now midnight. 
I've got it back together and I didn't uh, have any extra screws <laughs> or anything and I actually learned something. I learned how this lens comes entirely apart. The problem is that that rear element, not the very back one, but the second one. So you've got to remove two to get to the one that was popped out. Okay, so we glued the third one back in. The second one, I got a fingerprint on it and I wiped it and it didn't come off. And so I wiped it again and it just got a little bigger and a little bigger and a little more smudgy. And I don't think you guys can see it, but now there is a loss of coating on that inside lens. And it's kind of like a smudge. So I may have screwed my own lens and this may have just cost me 600 bucks anyway, but it is back together. We'll pop it on the camera. I'll take a couple pictures. I don't know what to say. It's a learning experience. I'm quite upset about it, but I'm also feeling a sense of accomplishment or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just fatigue. Yep. It's what I thought. Look at that smudge. Look at that smear. No good. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm buying a new lens. I could buy that element, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I can buy that element. If I could buy that element really cheap, like 50 bucks or under, then I would probably try replacing just that element. I know how to get to it now. I also saw there is a used copy of this lens on eBay right now for 400 bucks. I think I'll just go buy that other lens. Ugh, it sucks. <laughs>